This week on Taste Utah, we're at the new Salt Lake City International Airport. The airport has been committed to offering you and every traveler that connects through Salt Lake City a sampling of local Utah favorites. We're all packed up and ready for travel, but before we take off, literally, we're stopping by Market Street Grill, Roosters, Gourmandies, and Wasatch Brew Pub for food that's definitely worth flying for. Taste Utah is always bringing you local flavors from seeds to our authentically Utah restaurants. Behind every good food story is a great people story. It's our farmers, artisans, chefs, restaurateurs, and hospitality professionals that make Utah a dining destination. Food is a necessity, and it's how we cultivate it, share it, and experience it together that truly creates our unique community. You always have a seat at this table. Are you ready to taste Utah? We're out at the Salt Lake City International Airport, and I'm about to take you on a tasting adventure of epic portions. Salt Lake City International Airport has made it possible for you to taste local flavors all day long. Do I always dress this nice to travel? Only when I'm traveling with you. Hi, Nancy. Hi, how are you? I'm doing so well. The airport experience here is almost unparalleled. What was the intention behind having so many local restaurants? Yeah, well, a lot of people who haven't been out here are gonna be surprised to find that this is an entirely new airport. Yeah. Which gave us a unique opportunity to actually plan for the different restaurants and shops that we would have here. We really tried to look at a variety, to have you know a variety of local, regional and national brands too. Because some travelers come to the area, you know, they want to experience what the local brand is like. This is phase one, right? This is phase one and that was very intentional because we went out early on before we even designed the airport and we asked our passengers, we asked the locals, what do you want to see in this new airport? And a couple of people came back and said, you know, we really want to make sure um, that there's car rentals, that they stay on site. Mm. We want to make sure that there's more areas to plug in. And we want to see the beauty of Utah celebrated in this airport. We really took that to heart. And we went to an artist who does large-scale art installations, and he designed what's called the Canyon, which is a beautiful art installation. That exactly. stretches like yes. the link. Yes, and it really provides a unique um, way to represent the beauty of Utah and the canyons in the northern and southern Utah. The lights change to represent both. We really were um, particular about making sure that we could represent Utah if people never took a step outside. So many of the restaurants here are from all over the state of Utah, so not Absolutely. just Salt Lake City. I believe today we're gonna visit Market Street yes. and Roosters and Gourmandies and Wasatch Brew Pub, which Gourmandise has locations in Draper and Salt Lake City and Market right. Street has Cottonwood Heights and then also downtown. Right. Roosters is in Ogden on Historic Acts, yeah, 25th Street. Yeah, you're right, Street. yes. And then they have the B Street Brewery that's just sort yeah. of off the beaten path in Ogden. Yeah, and I think that's been really nice for locals to see. They're very surprised. They'll come in and say, oh, I didn't know you had a Roosters here. Yeah. We love Roosters, you oh know, and so people really have celebrated the restaurants that we have here. And actually, some of our passengers will tell us, we come here early just to make sure we have time to eat at the restaurant. Yeah, this is like my insider Taste Utah tip of the day, is that that's what you do. You come an hour, two hours, maybe even two and a half, three hours early, sit down, get through yeah. security, don't feel the stress, so nourish yourself. That's right. Before you make that track from <laughs> A to B. Yeah, and you know, we're not done yet either. So yeah. we're still building. And we have phase two underway. We recently announced the restaurants for phase two. There'll be, again, some more local favorites. Okay. We have Red Rock. We have Mil Mill Creek Coffee Roasters. So that, that was in the former airport. People were really been yeah. asking about having that come back. I love that. So there'll be some really nice options there too. So phase two 
will open up at the end of 2023. Um, okay. That and then we'll open up phase three in 2024. So there'll be even more restaurants coming on board oh my then. Gosh. Yeah, and then the, the distance will be um, adjusted when we can open up that tunnel yeah. as part of phase three. And so um, we really couldn't. Um, build that tunnel until we had torn down the old airport and demolished everything. And right. so, so we just ask for people to be patient with that walk. Listen, I think about that all the time as well when I'm like traveling and I and, and I, I want to be able to get those steps in because yes. I know I'm gonna you know be traveling for a day. I recently flew to Cape Town, South Africa. That's oh. like a 22 hour flight, yes. right? So to be able to get that walk in, yeah. that felt pretty nice. Yes, well and another highlight too of our restaurants is that um, we're now offering street pricing. Oh, wow. So in the former airport, that wasn't the case, but that was something that was very important to the airport when we opened up the restaurant. So what you're paying at the airport here is the same price you'll be paying at these restaurants, other facilities. So there's no markup. This is Wonderful. just a little smattering of what's available at the airport. There's yes. a lot more than just these four, but we'll start here and then, you know, we'll do some more later. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gosh, it's you. so good to see you. You look great. Thank you. So what do you and like this looks amazing. Thank you. And what about the airport? So like the airport is like so nice. It's just so nice being out here. This is Doug Petty. Hi, how are you? I'm Doug. Senior I'm Director yep. of Operations for HMS Host. Okay. Which is the company we're partnered with uh, out here at the airport. That's so awesome. And this yep. isn't your first rodeo at the airport. You no. were at the old airport. We were at the old airport. We signed that contract I think in the beginning of 2010 yep. and then opened that in November of 2012. Yeah, I feel like you can't have a sampling of Utah restaurants without like quintessential market street growth. And this amazing spread in front of us, let's go over that. Well, we've started with the calamari. Yeah. Um, this is the same dish that we serve in our restaurants on the street. Okay. They call them street yep. restaurants versus the airport restaurants. Yep. Okay, makes sense. Um, yep. Served with cocktail sauce. Yeah. Um, we've got our clam chowder. World we are famous. world famous for that. And I will say, I think <laughs> in the beginning, yes. menu wise, this was probably the thing we spent yep. the most amount of time making sure it was exactly the same here as it is yep. in any of our market street yep. restaurants. So. That was obviously, that's a signature okay. dish. This is the salmon okay. uh, served with the fresh broccoli. And then we've got our uh, Louis salad. This is like my most yep. favorite, <laughs> favorite thing <laughs> on Market Street yeah. menu. Yeah. And I, I like to get it in your restaurants with black and halibut, yeah. which isn't even on the menu, yeah. but if you know, you know. Black and, or even black and salmon is oh, also fabulous yum. on that salad. But yeah, even Doug is Doug. Yeah. Fish and chips, um, um, we're selling cod. Um, okay. We have the fresh cold slaw and french fries. I think one of the things that's extraordinary about any restaurant at, at, at the airport, but especially in Market Street, yeah. is that you partner with this organization to offer the elevated dining experience that you expect when you go to Cottonwoods or you go downtown um, here at the airport. You know, we have multiple brands within HMS Host okay. here in the airport, but really keeping true to the brand standards and having that partnership, and that's something that I always preach, and having Kate and Fred and, and just the roots of Market Street Grill, because mm -hmm. everything you see here with the food, the staff training, comes from the brand's roots. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely that's important to me, and it's our job as, you know, um, um, as HMS Host managers is to keep true to the brand standards yeah. so our guests get that same experience whether you're downtown eating or you're, you know, you know, like you're in the airport, obviously dining. We're kind of pulling back the curtain here on airport operations because just like if you were to go into um, an arena or something like that, you know, there are just different ways of operating and partnering with a concessionaire um, and a, con a host operation is one of the most essential things you can yep. do as far as partners are concerned. Yep. And so it is amazing to see how well you're thriving, how extraordinary you're doing yeah. out here, that the flavor is just out of control. Yep. I mean, I want to sit here, and I want to eat this all day long. <laughs> and I, I do every yeah, day. Yeah, okay, good, yes, I would. And you have your own team and your own crew that, that's, that's elevating the experience yes. as well. Yep. Um, and I just have to say, it's so special, number one, just to be able to sit with both of you and, and to, to see and taste 
just the heart, the soul that really is going into this experience at the airport to offer a weary traveler yep. something delicious before they yep. head off on their flight yep. um, and to give us a reason to be early to our flights at the airport. The airport's different, you know, yeah. Market Street Grill, as well, you know, as I tell people, you can go downtown for an hour and a half, two hours. Here, the average person flying 30 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, but we do have those regulars that come in early enough to have a better experience, but the speed of service is never in jeopardy of the quality of the food and the experience, and that's something that we keep pushing forward, working with our brand partners and our staff for training to make it a much better experience oh, for our guests. That is so well said. And to see how you two are working together to elevate Utah's food community out of the airport and the Market Street experience yep. is just so inspiring. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. It was so nice oh, to see you. So yeah. nice to see you. Okay, enjoy. Thank you for being here. Would, someone box this up. <laughs> <laughs>
how you partner with specific organizations mm -hmm. uh, when you come out to the airport, just because there are so many different rules right. and regulations that are different from street sides. Yeah, so my, my partner is SSP America, okay. and they are a wonderful company. Um, it's an opportunity that was that they found me, and I had no idea when they asked us about going in the airport. I'm like, oh no, we can't do another location, and here I am. So it's all kind of like spinning up. And the greatest thing about it all spinning up is all of those people that have worked for us for years. Like this is about them. Like this is like raising opportunities, and so yeah. that, that's what feels good. You're good people that <laughs> really, really love, and you do extraordinary work. And Thanks, Katie. Such a Go privilege to make me cry. Um, and I will. I yeah. cried yesterday. <laughs> Listen, you have, you have earned those tears, my friend, and they are tears of joy and love. And I am in awe of you and just so grateful to sit with you and be able to, to share your table um, with, with Utah. And to be able to say, like, I feel proud when people come through Utah, pass know, through in a I terminal, and they get to sit and eat yeah. at Roosters. I mean, Let's just cheers to you. Okay. Cheers to Pete. Cheers. cheers to He's on his way to Montana getting a new raft. So oh, good, on so good on him. <laughs>
Uh, we are. And then uh, a couple of beverages. Apricot apple bison, and then a delicious spicy paloma. Ooh, now what is a paloma for people who don't know? It's, it's tequila and grapefruit, and then some ginger is in there. Making Yum, nice and, spicy. and then a little nice spice rim we see, yeah. which that is always so fun, and like indicative of a vacation drink to me. Exactly, once you're in the airport, you're always on vacation, even if you're not, right? What, what is it about the airport, being in the airport? Yeah. You know, it's kind of, it's really nice is when people come into town, it's one of the first things they see. Uh, and then when they're leaving, it's also one of the last places they go. And when they're here, they actually get to experience Wasatch and squatters in downtown Salt Lake City or up in Park City as well. It's just there's something so unique and inviting and special about sitting at the bar, pulling up a beautiful tabletop and enjoying, I mean, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Yeah. And, and you're actually part of Utah history because, you know, Wasatch Brew Pub was the first brew pub ever in Utah. The oldest brew yeah. pub ever. And Squatters was the first brew pub in Salt Lake City. So you've got you've got history that you're enjoying yeah. with your drinks and your delicious food. The food at the airport, it's literally worth coming an hour or two hours early just to be able to like sit, relax, and enjoy. Really treat yourself before you head off on that business trip or you start your vacation, you know. It really is such a unique and special experience out here. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, there's times where I will actually leave from my office because I'm able to come in here since I work here to come and have lunch here because the food is so good. Oh my gosh. Today has just been so much fun and, and Rick, I'm just so grateful for your time and for this amazing spread in front of us and uh, I gotta go catch my flight. Well, Katie, thank you for stopping by and, and having some great food and we'll finish off our drinks and oh, you gotta get your flight. Absolutely, cheers. What can I say, but today has been an epic Taste Utah adventure. So the next time you come to the Salt Lake City Airport, look for Roosters, Market Street, Wasatch Brew Pub, Gourmandies, I mean, and a plethora of other local, independent Utah restaurants. And hey, Taste Utah. <laughs>